Hey guys, today on the Home Winemaking Channel, I'm going to show you a really easy way to transfer wine um, that doesn't involve lifting heavy things. Uh, so what I've got here is a SureFlow transfer pump. Uh, this isn't the one that you get from morewine.com. This is the one that you get for like an RV and it comes unwired. So the first thing I had to do is I had to wire that up, which is really easy. You just need to find a plug from something else to use. And uh, I ran some star sand sanitizer through it, and then I ran a bunch of water through it. Uh, so here I'll just kind of show you how quick and easy this thing can transfer wine. I've got some banana wine here on the left, and this wine is a little bit stronger than I wanted it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend in some banana juice that I made uh, pretty recently. And I think it's going to work out pretty well. I've done some test blends, and everything looks great. So uh, let's get it started here. Now this pump here is self-priming, so all you really need to do is just plug the thing in once you've got it all sanitized and hooked up. And of course make sure your hose is where it needs to be so you don't make a mess. All right, and that's all there is to it. Uh, you saw it was pretty bubbly when I did that, so just make sure you remember to throw some sulfites in the, the carboy that you're gonna transfer to. And it wouldn't hurt to get something to, to wedge with the hose because the, the water, or the, uh, the wine pumps actually so fast that it naturally kind of tries to blow the hose right out of there. So uh, if you have something you can kind of wedge into the carboy to prevent that, that would also be helpful. But all in all, not a bad pump. It costs about 70, 75 bucks on Amazon. So, you know, if you're getting sick of racking and lifting carboys around, this might be something that you might want to consider. Thanks for watching.